And uh, welcome to uh, another spreadsheet uh, tutorial from uh, me, Paul King. And uh, this time, instead of the usual Excel application, I'm going to uh, call up uh, something from OpenOffice, uh, which is a free software that anyone can download. And uh, one of the lessons, uh, apart from using Calc, which is the name of this software, um, brought up by openoffice.org is to show you that uh, a lot of the formulas are very similar in fact there's a ton of similarities between uh, calc and excel well I'm just going to enter some numbers here a list of uh, a few numbers and I'm imagining them to be maybe number of words type per minute or something like that um, you know by a bunch of typist uh, candidates perhaps um, whatever they are they're just a, a list of two digit numbers and um, they range uh, from 11 to about 89 or so um, for some reason I hesitated at the 14th piece of data uh, I must have been tired at the time I was typing this out um, but I intended to do about 20 uh, pieces of data but ended up doing 21 and um, I'm just going to do some very basic single variable statistics on a spreadsheet here and uh, roughly the same formulas work in Excel uh, perhaps you should check uh, the back of your textbook to find out how these work in Excel the count if statement is supported in Microsoft uh, in sorry in open office calc except that I just did that one wrong I have to count something so I follow it by a semicolon and then I maybe say I don't know I just want maybe just all the numbers that are not equal to zero but no that's not quite it that's a bit risky but uh, perhaps greater than zero will work but then it flags an error and this error tells me that uh, I forgot to close my quote and there it is it's closed they closed it for me <laughs> um, so you got to make sure if you don't like to get dinged by these errors that you close your quotation marks. Uh, this is true for Excel as well. The average command also works in Excel. It's the same command with the same way of denoting the cell ranges. Uh, standard deviation, same command once again. You just highlight the cells and close your bracket and hit enter. And uh, these are just the mean and the standard deviation as you are familiar with uh, from the course from the data management course median uh, the median again you indicate your cell range same as before same as always the med m that's the middle number there 63 so median would be the middle number in the distribution notice it does it without any sorting whatsoever um, for C got the quartile and the quartile um, you have to give the cell range and then you have to say what quartile well I indicated the first quartile and that's 34 meaning 25 percent of my data are less than 34 now I'm going to make this cell range a little more permanent because I want to copy the quartile command over three cells uh, because I want the first quartile second quartile and third quartile so that means I have to do this copying and it's good if I use the dollar sign so that I don't mess up my cell ranges. So this is uh, 1, 2, and 3. So quartile 3. And there we go. And notice that in between the second and the third quartile lie only four numbers. But not four exact numbers, but 25% of the data lie between 63 and 67. The maximum number in that distribution is 89. The minimum number in that distribution, as we shall find, is 11. Now I'm going to write labels for all of these numbers which I had found. So remember this was the number of data I had which is 21. This is the average uh, of the distribution. This is standard deviation. And then if I recall these are first quartile, second quartile, sorry median. Now we go into Q1, Q2, Q3. And then uh, the max and the min. Okay, and that's it.